Hello and welcome to my first video tutorial. I'll show you how to set up good outdoor lighting for your game in Blender's game engine. So let's add my object. As you can see we have real-time shadows and a front side lighting and constant shadows at the back side. So let's open up a new blend. Um, this is the same blend as the previous but without light. So first we enable texture mode and GLSL materials. So it is black because we have no light source. Let's add a sun lamp. This will be our light source for the sun. So we can now rotate it by 30 degrees in x-axis or something like this. I rotate it like minus 15 in z direction. So now we add another lamp. This time it's a Hemi lamp and this will be to fake our global illumination. Clone the Hemi lamp by using Alt D and rotate it by 180 degrees. So now we can add an object. As you can see, I have nearly the same lighting as in the previous blend. And let's fix the settings. So in the Hemi, I set energy to 0 0.6. It is cloned, so both Hemis share the same settings. And my sun lamp has 1.3 energy. So now we have nearly the same settings, but the shadows are missing. So duplicate the sun lamp by using Shift D and make it a spotlight. Blender Game Engine only supports spotlights at real-time shadow sources. So enable only shadow so there's no light circle. And now let's change the settings. This line in the middle shows the range of the shadow. So if we change it, the clip start, the shadows start um, earlier and when we change the end they end later or earlier. So I parent the sun lamp to the shadow lamp but that's optional so we can move them both and now let's make a track for our player. So click on the shadow lamp first, then on the player, press CTRL T track to constraint. So now the shadow lamp shows on the on my on your player directly. And the sun is parented to the shadow lamp so it will move um, the same. Now we have real-time shadows but we have to fix the settings so that will they will look prettier and I changed the en energy to 3 so we have darker shadows or um, with one they have less energy shadows. Here you can change the bias value 
that's where the shadow starts after the, uh, the after the object. So if we change PS to 0 0.1. happens. <laughs> mm, here you can see it. This BIOS value 1 and now I make it 0 0.1 the shadow starts right. So now I have to change the spotlight, the spot size, to make it um, to make it a less area of the shadow. Make sure this middle line is on your objects so that shadows will be generated. And now you can move your sun right up in the air and parent it to your player by using CTRLP. Nah. Make vertex parent. So that the rotation won't be the same. Hmm. Now we have to change the settings again. So I use size of 200. Trip star 300, 400. And move the lamp up. So, as you can see, we have real time shadows. But the quality is bad, that's because the spot size. It's too big. And now the shadows move with the player and in game <laughs> they are not generated but that's a bug I have. I don't know why. <laughs> Try it yourself and uh, maybe it works with the shadows, but if not, you have to find another way. <laughs>